Good day traders, hoping that everybody is doing well today. Today we are uploading the video, the analysis, because um, we are not around during the time. So here we go. Starting with gold. Gold is still valid. Some of you may have had a good um, one hour yesterday from this trigger here. And just pushed up hit one hour and then basically tanked again. And then moving forward, you can still have your buy stops. So the setup is still valid. So you can still have a good buy stop on this area. And then um, just see where it ends up. It's just that now we just need to be wary of um, the stop loss, which was slightly extended because of these lows that were formed. And this basically means the setup is still valid. And um, also this sell is still valid. Here we are targeting these zones over here and remember if you are using the wushu toolbox then you can just let it run and manage your trade accordingly uh this one is still valid so we are still set for that and also the bottom one's still valid so gold is still good for the for the run we'll just um leave it and watch it do its thing and then ea left us completely it never really came back to take this order and right now on the hourly, I don't really see much happening until we see a bit of a open over here and a bit of a good retracement and then back up to BOS and moving forward. Um, we will not be touching any of that. So for now, this is completely gone. So we'll just let that be. We are not going to catch up with that. And then AUD USD. We don't really see much happening here. Also left us gone from where we saw it so that we are gonna let go our cad it broke through our zones and um we had a massive fall from here i mean um not a bit of a consolidation here but then from there it just completely fell off uh, but what we would want to see is a bit of a break of structure and then price coming back to pick up some orders leaving out this to be our first point and hopefully a zone in this level to be a second one that we need to watch and then basically moving forward below that and then coming back to pick up some orders here but until that happens we just have to keep our eye on it i'm on a market as well and then um watch what it does throughout the day now this one it went completely our way uh twice actually so i'm not sure how many people caught this one as uh what we saw was this big massive move all the way down hitting 10r and then of course coming back into the zone again and then dropping again further hitting a nice 22r this was a good move a very 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 neat setup and uh, you get these ones in a while but um you get them of course and then um moving forward with this one uh, we will be watching to see what it does in these zones because we saw this push back forming these equal highs and then dropped again pushing back up so giving us a bit of a new area to work with which will be slightly similar to the previous one but um we just have to refine it better and then get a neater entry and i am looking at this one of course and um slightly wider wider stop than the previous so we are looking at something like that and um we could potentially get a a good setup again from this one as well so i can remove that one and then we will have something along these lines those of you in the boot camp would know what i'm doing and know exactly what i'm watching what i'm looking for and uh that's why you don't really see much of the um what's the strawings and so forth so that's where we are with gu and then usd swiss franc so this one we watched it yesterday uh but it's been very yeah erratic so we're just not gonna play around with that and then this position yet played out pretty decent for us i don't know how many of you got this one because you can see it went in four times into our stop loss range um, but the wicks that were formed on that is where the issue was, especially this massive tank. But it came back hitting 3R, dropped again, came back hitting a stop, and then went all the way up hitting around 5R. 
retraced a bit. Some got kicked out here by the Wushu and then went all the way up again. And then some of the other traders in other sessions caught this move here. But um, for now, we are going to watch this level over here. We're going to watch this zone over here and then just see how it behaves from there. And if we do get a break, um, if we do get a break in the zone over here, then we would get a nice tee off area where this is a bit of a concern. But um, if we get it from the zone over here, we should be good. And uh, let's just drop into the lower prices and see how that plays out. There we go. There we go. And then we will have a bit of a decent setup on this zone over there on the hourly, of course. And remember, you can still find quite a number of setups looking at the. Um, looking at the other time frames and um, some other moves and of course that does take a bit of trading but um, you do work on that and eventually it will work for you and you um, we don't really see much this will be the last for the free of course and then just moving forward everything else will be dropped in the premium channel gj nothing there a uj nothing decent there Nothing decent there. GN. GN, we do have a bit of a neat um, setup that could potentially form. Um, if we do wait, of course, wait for price to actually break this zone over there. And then once it does, we just wait for it to come back into a decent level over there using this T off area here. And once you do have that T off area, you can refine it, get a better stop loss range. And remember, you need to watch your you need to watch your your spreads because that does affect a lot of people and um yeah there we go so you watch it move from there and um hopefully it works out guys so let's uh focus for the day get some pips in don't stress do not um over risk manage your risk and you will be fine happy trading guys we'll catch you tomorrow pre-london and um cheers